Well, the Foothill Gold Line uh, light rail project continues construction, but active train testing is now underway. Eyewitness News reporter Rob McMillan shows us where the new project will be able to take riders. Just after 10 o'clock this morning, a Metrolink train on the San Bernardino line rolls past Arrow Highway in Laverne. But it won't be stopping here, nor are there stops in Glendora or San Dimas. However, this very location is where one of the future stations for the Gold Line is under construction. That future, not too far off, with trains being tested on these new tracks for the first time today. This is the first time that they're actually going to see a train under its own power move through the 9.1 mile right of way. I mean, this is what you wait for. You go through a long process to get a project environmentally cleared and then get funded and get to a point where you award a contract and then you start a billion dollars worth of construction and then you get to a point where you see this. Foothill Gold Line CEO Habib Balian says right now the LA Metro's A line ends in Azusa. But when the Gold Line extension opens to the public sometime next summer, there will then be stops. In Glendora, San Dimas, Laverne, and Pomona. The current line terminates at Citrus College, so it's a, a great distance from here. This extends the line 9.1 miles, provides four new stations. So folks coming from all different directions east of that now have an opportunity of getting on the line much closer than they would have. There's still work to be done. Many of the parking lots are still under construction, as are some of the covered platforms. Time it does open to the public next year, it will provide yet another option for commuters. You never know really what's going to happen when you get on the freeway on a daily basis. If it's raining, if there's an accident, it could delay you, you know, an hour sometimes. So this is a good, reliable means of transportation. They're hoping to eventually extend the gold line even farther to the east, all the way to Montclair. That part of the project is still being funded, but if all goes as planned, they should start construction next year. In Pomona, Rob McMillan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.